One way we can utilize the My View Board portal is by having students share or present their screen into the My View Board program. The cool thing about doing it through My View Board is one, students don't have to be on the same network as the board, but also we can utilize what we call the waiting room. So essentially students can be waiting to present and then we can turn on their screens. Now, what we need to do first before we can allow students to present is one, we need to sign into the My View Board software. If you don't know how to sign in, be sure to go watch our video on how to do that. Once you're signed in, on the top right corner, you're gonna see some Wi-Fi bars in a rectangle. They're red right now. Red means off or disabled. If I touch this, it opens up my wireless presentation menu. You can still see that it's disabled, so the red Wi-Fi bars. If I touch this, it will go from red to green. Green means go or it's on and ready to present or share. So we're gonna go ahead and have Blake share his screen now. So I'm on the portal, and when I get on the portal, ask for my name, I'm signed in. I just need to make sure that the host My View Board name is the same as the teachers. It's very easy to click this share screen icon here, and what it's gonna do is now launch um, a screen that asks for your name, and just to review that you have the correct board name. Then you can select your entire screen, a window, or a Chrome tab. Once you select your screen or tab, you hit share, and now you're waiting on the teacher to allow you access to share your screen. Now, you'll notice that when Blake did that, his name appears in this area here. Again, this is what we call the waiting room. This is just the wireless presentation menu, and if I close this, I didn't kick Blake out. He's still there waiting, and so a way that you can use this in your classroom is say, hey, everybody get ready, okay? Everybody be ready to present. Uh, by logging into the portal, and you don't really have to monitor it. They're just uh, going in the background. Now, if I wanna open that window again, I can either one, go to the green Wi-Fi bars. Now remember they're green because we turn those on, or you can find the blue circle with the three people in it. This is the wireless presentation menu, and then that will open up again, and it will show the students who are ready to present. So we're gonna go ahead and select Blake's name, and it's going to open up a window. It takes a few seconds just to sync up, but then it will start displaying uh, Blake's screen on the board. And of course, it's live screen sharing. So we can now see Blake's fraction lesson he's working on, and we can have a class discussion or he can present on what he was doing. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is at the bottom, we have some controls on the window. So the double square icon, this will just make it full screen or it'll make it bigger so it's easier to see. Uh, you'll notice that there's an X, X obviously would close it. Uh, the camera lens is pretty cool because what the camera lens does is it actually takes a screen capture of whatever's in the window and then adds it to the canvas so that we could actually write or annotate on top of it. Then you'll notice that there's this bulleted list icon. And what this does is it actually opens the waiting room again. And what this allows me to do is I could now turn on other students. This would start tiling all my students up to about six students. So if I wanted to compare and contrast or share multiple students at the same time, I go to the bulleted list and I select my other students. Or if I were to touch Blake's name, that would stop his screen sharing. Let's go ahead and close this. Here you can see the screenshot that we took earlier. So I can grab this and make it bigger. And then that becomes part of my notes. So if you're going to have your students wirelessly present in class, we highly recommend that you use the My View Board portal and have them follow this process.